So this is how our adventure begins. I'm in the back seat of my uh, Subaru. I'm getting like two hours of rain happening here. So I'm getting packed up in the rain, or oh, in the back seat while it's raining, and then in about 10, 15 minutes I'll get started. But uh, I'm gonna get a parking permit now to uh, be in the Smokies more than 15 minutes to park. And uh, you know, other than the rain, it is more day. We can expect a lot more people out here. And there is definitely not that many people, or not as many people as there normally are. So that's, uh, I guess it's a good thing. But uh, we'll, we'll interact with people today. Should be good. Should be good fun. Let's uh, you know, videotape the festivities, huh? Trees. Almost forgot these. Uh, in the in this bag. Kleenex just in case. Good stuff. Good stuff. Try out one of these fancy ponchos. Uh, Try out one of these fancy ponchos. Got it at Bucky's. Try something outside of my rain jacket and see how that is going to work. Uh, fancy poncho, fancy poncho, set that right there. Uh, so, voila. Did the resupply or resupply? I got food stuffs from. Uh, Bucky's and Kroger. And let's see what else we got here. Hopefully after the day, I won't need the uh, Put a jinx on the whole damn adventure. Gentlemen, don't leave home without your PBR. One of the most important things of a holiday weekend is making sure you've got enough alcohol to make it through. Slam before we get started. Okay. So, 
Waiting that'll work. Now, as you can see, we've got a hot mess going on right here. So, all right, where's my poncho? Going up the Bradley Fork Trail. Uh, again, haven't seen as many hikers as I was expecting already. We're in past uh, two people doing a little day hike, but mm, not your normal Smoky Mountain crowd. But then again, it is raining, so what do you expect, right? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. We got 11 PBRs ready to go. So, five for today, six for tomorrow, and uh, roll out. Monday morning. So I'm gonna stay hydrated. I'm gonna have a little bit of buzz today. I'm gonna have a good time. Yeah. Got a little creek action down there. Yeah, it's a little more in the creek, but you know. It's gonna be a good day. The Bradley Fork. Up the old far service road basically. Piped water there. Good stuff. All right, we're heading still on the Bradley Fork Trail for a bit. We're looking for dry sluice. 2.9 cabin flats. That seems about right, maybe. I don't know. So, it would appear that we are on the right path. So, that's good. Probably another. Four and a half miles, five miles to shelter. Probably hiked uh, maybe two, maybe one, one and a half, something like that. But uh, it's not hot. Rain finally passed. Trail's wet, but you know, we, we expect smokies. So, go enjoy it. And as you can see, nice, easy. Old far service road. An old road. I'm gonna cut through here. Parked the vehicle at the campground back there, just chilling out. On this creek bed. So things are going pretty good. Yeah, right here. I guess it's a access point to get more waters. That smoke mont trail. I don't know. Maybe some kind of wash off. I had like a bobcat or something in here. There's some the tracks there. Trying to keep the trail somewhat in order. Go biggie. Keep on hiking. I think the sun's trying to come out. See this stream right here? Water, water everywhere. All right, all right. Let's move right along. A little more hiking. Still on the Bradley Fork. I think we're coming to an end here shortly. The trail spritz off a couple different directions up here. And we'll go from there. Looks like a fork in the road to me. Yep, yep, yep. So, I'm going to venture to bet this right here. Ooh. Oh. This will take you to the AT in five and a half miles. And what is this? Yeah, so we're going to the dry sluice. 
It's a half mile up the trail. Whew. So we got about three miles to the shelter, I think, something like that. We've been four miles. Cool. Pretty cool bridge. Still in the Bradley Fort. Got about three miles to the shelter. It's got uh, some small mosquitoes, nothing crazy. All right, but we're out. We're six miles in, maybe. Should be getting close to shelter. This last hour has been all uphill. I mean, it doesn't really do a whole lot of justice. It's just been a steady climb this whole time. So, won't be, won't be long. We'll get there. I don't know if you can see it, but the rhododendron is starting to bloom. Gorgeous one there, in full bloom. Maybe another week. Less. I'm catching all the webs. I don't think you might have been this way in a while. Got the lady slippers. I don't know if you can see them. A couple of them. The lady slippers. Fun stuff. Whew, we gotta be getting close to something here. All right, so 7.1 to the campground. It's right about where we started. That's where we'll be heading in the morning. We've got two and a half to the shelter, right down there. I am tired. I don't have any water right now. No, we'll find some here in a minute. Uh, either way, we're going downhill for a while. Yeah, good thing. I'm. <sighs> Woo! All right, we're gonna move again. It's kind of cool. And uh, got how treacherous this downhill is through here. Came through a couple years ago. And it's a muddy mess. As you can see, good time. All right, and a nice little stream. A little water source, how about, still probably two and a half, so. A little less now, making pretty good time. No rush. I got 11 beers to drink. We make some friends tonight, maybe. You know how it goes. See what happens. It's just a sunny day. Draw all that rain. This is our arrangement tonight. Quite a spot I could find down here. I'm not getting up there. Okay. PBRs. Yeah. Wash it off. All right. All right, we're on the move again. We're going up this what grassy branch, whatever it is, coming out of Kevart. Right back up. So we got 3.9 to the AT. It's a 2.5. Up this trail, it's pretty much uphill. At the end of the trail, there's water. Get water, because there's no uh, water on the dry sluice. Huh, dry sluice, dry. Uh, so, that's where we came from. And that's where we're going. You can see the top of the mountain over there. But that's kind of where we're headed. All right, back on the dry sluice. This came from down there. It was 2.5. Yeah, 2.5. So two and a half miles a day already. A little under what? Hour and ten. It's all uphill, so not too bad. Appalachian Trail 0.3. 1.3 in that direction. Shouldn't be too terrible. I mean, we covered up a lot of ground, so. Gonna be uphill some more, but 
for about 30 minutes to build AT. All right, so some views. Getting some views. I don't know if I've seen this. Pretty cool. I came through here probably three years ago. 21. It's the last time I was on this section of trail. And uh did a loop from Laurel Gap Shelter, well, from Yukon Gap to Pex to uh Ports of the uh, Benton McKay and back up to Laurel Gap and the next day out and did a big uh, big day from Laurel Gap back to the Newfound Gap and uh, yeah it's gonna be a kind of a similar deal today but we're on the AT now so it shouldn't be too terrible hike you know we're already at elevation so mm, the pushes aren't as Crazy. I still got to continue with stuff like this, but I'm in no rush to get anywhere at the moment. <clears throat> I'm going, just going to enjoy the, the trail. And the fact that I'm on a ridge, you got a little bit of a breeze. Kind of nice. The climb up was getting kind of whew, rough yesterday, and then today. Bust your ass. Good way to bust your ass. But we are on the AT. And it's good times. The old friend I hadn't seen in a while. Just a Sunday stroll. This is what's nice about the AT. There are sections where it's not terrible. Relatively flat, got a gradual down. So, make me some ups and downs, of course, but predominantly we'll be going down. Get the vast majority of the uh, day. It'll be up, of course, but the uh, further and further we get away from Cleman, the lower the elevations are nothing crazy you know we're still on the ridge well, that rain yesterday made the trail kind of wet feet stay wet most of the day yesterday just in time to dry out and then get wet again so you know today possible thunderstorms later We'll see. Nice use. Some smaller rhododendron. Red or blue, different species. The deer like the rhododendron. They love it. You don't see up here this high in elevation. Deer. Or as many. <clears throat> just finished breaking for lunch. Good stuff. Making decent time today. No real rush. Probably get the shelter about six. About Eleven o'clock now. I'm thirty. I'm twenty-five. About to pick it back up. Once we hit the turn, I think we came out from down there somewhere. Come up and around. And made it over here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Just some more views. Should be coming up on uh, Peck's Corner somewhere over here. And then that'll be about my halfway point for today. And then on the tri corner. And then uh, Laurel Shelter. Thank you. 
So, we can quick trip. I didn't record any today because when I got up this morning, it had been raining straight. Standardization of that safety forward for at least navigate. Turn left for White Sulphur Road, then turn right onto White Sulphur Road. I'll do what she tells me to do. Head northwest. Because I'm a beaten man. Oh. Okay. So anyway. When I got up turn this left morning, for White turn... Sulphur Road, then turn right onto White Sulphur Okay. Start again. So when I got up this morning, it was about 2 o'clock in the morning. I got up and went to the bathroom. This dude was solid logs. And pretty cool cat. Turn right onto US 23 South. Turn the volume down. Turn the volume down. Turn the volume down. Okay. So anyway, uh, got up, he got back in. The minute I got back into the sleeping bag, the bottom fell out. So it rained from like 2.15, 2.30 to probably 8 o'clock this morning. Laid in my uh, quilt, laid there, laid on my sleeping pad, thinking to myself, I really don't want to do this today. Really, really, really don't want to do this. I mean, I'm probably able to come down, down. So I waited till it was probably 7 15, finally. Uh, 7 15. It might have been one of those 7 o'clock. Anyway, got about a 45 minute later start today than I was originally planning on. It's no big deal, you know, it's hiking the car. I was sort of filling my bag this morning and I noticed a little bump there. It's like, is that a tick? Is that a skin tag? I don't know. So I tried to remove it, couldn't remove it. Uh, so after I got finished, I went to uh, the McDonald's in uh, Cherokee. They got a nice little store right beside it. Like a one-stop shop, man. They got the, I, I had, had a triple quarter pound with cheese and two triples without the bun. It was absolutely delicious. And, uh, okay, I'm satiated right now. I didn't want to overdo it. I ate like the three of the fries. It was really, really good. But, you know. but anyway, I uh, bought one of these uh, tick remover tools. Four-dollar pair of pliers. Anyway, uh, so that's the trip. Another hour and 45 minutes, I get 
insane. And of course, the first day I thought it was like a seven mile hike. It turns out to be a 10 mile hike. The second day turns into be a, uh, I it was a 19, turns out to be like 21. Today, I got lost. <laughs> yeah, fun, fun, I got going so good this morning, I got lost on the trail. Went down the wrong trailhead to get to the road. Well, I just kept walking down the road. 